States. That migrant caravan, believed to be numbering in the thousands, is right now heading through Mexico toward the U.S. border. U.S. officials say Mexico is pledging to take new enforcement actions to help, the, help stem the migrant surge. It follows Wednesday's meeting between top Biden administration officials Alejandro Mayorkas and Antony Blinken, along with the Mexican president. And joining us now is Republican Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez. He represents an 800-mile stretch of the border that has recently seen a surge in migrants, and that, of course, includes Eagle Pass, Texas. Uh, Congressman, you have said uh, that it's in the interests of many here in Washington as this negotiation behind the scenes between the administration and some members of the Senate and Congress moves forward on immigration reform. Uh, you said that uh, it's in their interest to have this crisis flare up. You said that earlier in the year. Do you still believe that? And do you believe it's possible for Washington to do something at this point? Yeah, it's Washington, D.C. You're always going to have people say, well, this doesn't go far enough. I can't be supportive of it. And then on the other end, you're going to have other people go, oh, this goes too far. I can't be supportive of it. Meanwhile, the American public are stuck in the middle. Meanwhile, the American public deserve to feel safe in their own homes. And that's what this open border crisis does. It, it creates chaos and it creates uncertainty and it makes Americans feel unsafe. I certainly feel it in my district. It's over 800 miles of the southern border, yeah. nearly half of the overall southern border. Yeah. Do you feel the ground has shifted, though, as a political sense? Democrats are now coming to the table and many are acknowledging that this is a true crisis. What I've seen is for, for many Democrats, they view this as a policy win. They see these images and they go, finally, we are, we have, we have, uh, we've achieved what we, what, we, what we set out for. And then I see other people, other Democrats go, holy smokes, are we going to get smoked in 2024 if we don't do something about it? Yeah. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you know, places like mine, districts like mine, 70 percent of the uh, of my district is Hispanic, uh, per, you know, predominantly uh, an area that has been decimated by this border crisis. You've got people that are lifelong Democrats that are going, you know what, I've had enough, not, not necessarily meaning they're going to come over to the Republican yeah. Party, but they're now a jump ball. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, something broke today. It's very fascinating. It just caught our eye this afternoon, Congressman. That meeting yesterday in Mexico City between the Secretary of State and the Mexican President, a communique, joint communique was issued, uh, part of which said, there at the bottom, the delegations discussed the benefit of regularizing, that's hard to say, the situation of long-term long, long -term undocumented Hispanic migrants and DACA recipi recipients. That sounds like what used to be called 20 years ago when George W. Bush tried to have immigration reform, amnesty. And as a matter of fact, that's what Speaker Johnson has just said in a statement that he released. The United States must focus on policies that deter, not attract, people attempting to come here illegally. So what is your stance? What could be done in any ultimate deal with these some 11 or 12 million people who are in this country illegally? Once again, you're going to have members that are automatically off the table. And I don't view it as a deal. I view it as a solution. And the solution should not be rewarding those that are coming over illegally. The, the solution should be protecting Americans that are here in our country. It should also include legal pathways where people can, can do it the right way. You mentioned DACA. You mentioned other work visas. All these people are being put at the back of the line. And, and the folks that are coming over illegally are being rewarded. I mean, the, the rhetoric is so easy on both sides to just blame one another and round and round we go. We've done that for three decades. It's going to take real political leadership to bring people together and ultimately say what is in the best right. interest of the country. And that is to keep America safe from terrorist threats both abroad as well as here domestically because there's been so much anger that this open border crisis has, has spurred. Thank you for watching and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.